last time on the Ultimate Cowboy Showdown All-Star. Just a little ways up. Work together, work together, guys. Tyler won his first immunity buckle. Come here, Tyler. That was a great job. Yeah. Thank you. Good. I appreciate there it. There you go, buddy. And showed out during the team challenge. Yeah, Tyler. Nice loop from Tyler. Tyler wrote him and had the immunity buckle. Yeah, right, the immunity buckle. He's playing for the team. The green team unraveled with multiple members getting lost. Where are they at with the cattle already? Appears as though we may have some lost cowboys. It does. Brianna and Jared were sent home. You knew where you were going. I mean, my goodness, back to personals. But you're not going to be the ultimate cowboy. Man, I'm extremely disappointed. And now, only nine cowboys remain. Who will ride on and who will be sent back? Only one will leave here with $50,000 worth of cattle, an air equipped 87 series Q Catch cattle chute, and their new Healer Portable Corral. Who will win? The Ultimate Cowboy Showdown All Stars. Fill up as much milk you want. But the mm -hmm. best part, you writing your name? I used to try, but my name's so long and the cup was never so big enough, and I'd always get in trouble to have a, a too big of a cup. So, I'm gonna try to write my name, see what it does. So yeah, you can do JP. No, it disappears real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna learn how to make some good chocolate milk? Come on over and I'll show you the best way possible. Mm -hmm. But it's cool to see, you know, that everybody's grown and myself, I feel like I've grown. And even you? Yeah, sure. So for, you know, about 10, 12 years, I was drinking too much. I was I was causing too much chaos and I was all over the place, you know, and and uh, and and I'm trying I'm trying to, to fix that first, you know, try to try to be still, really is what I've what I've been trying to tell myself the last six, eight months is is just be still. I appreciate your friendship too, man. Like out of so many people we were picked for this opportunity and we've made some really lifelong Friends, yeah, sure. you know, it's yeah, not sure. just here. It's I still call you, you still call me. Yeah, sure. You know, so when I think about that, you know, it's really like, it's really hardcore, and it, it makes it hits you hard. I've got friends in this competition, but I also have a dream, and my dream is to win this. And the only way to win this competition is to separate right now friendship from winning this competition. It's crazy we're both on this all-star season together, especially since we knew each other and we were just riding bulls and traveling every summer. Yeah, you ain't kidding. We had a lot of fun. We, we went a lot of miles in that cowboy camper, <laughs> everywhere from Canada, to Florida, Oklahoma. We went everywhere. Everywhere. Back in the day, Key Jack and I, we both rode bulls together and traveled together some about five or six years ago. So we have a very uh, mutual understanding of how competitive we are. You don't want to scratch the itch ever? No, I'm good with that. You quit going and several of our other buddies quit going. You know, it uh, just wasn't the same not seeing familiar faces back there. It's changed a bunch. I know we're not like old timers, but when we went, it felt like it was different than what it is now. You know, being a, a rodeo cowboy is, is lots of nights on the road, you know, cheap hotels, late night drives, you know, broken bones. But I've had some of the best memories on the road with Cody and, and our other traveling partners. But now being a dad, I, I can't imagine being away from my little boy and, and risking it like that anymore. You know, a lot of these guys, they can't handle the pressure when it gets down to it. Right. They just don't understand it. We've been through it. Yeah, know? we've been through it. You know, we live pressure. I uh, know we're pals, but uh, it's probably time for you to start sweating that immunity buckle challenge, huh? right. Jared Lee and Brianna went home the other night off of our team. So we're down to nine, and it's been an uphill battle just to get here. And I'm about to get super gritty and try to get this deal one because I want one of those immunity buckles. All right, good morning, y'all. Morning. morning. OK, Cowboys, today's immunity buckle challenge is going to be our most intense horse race yet. You'll compete three at a time on a course filled with obstacles, testing your speed, agility, your overall horsemanship. 
This is a rugged half mile course that features rocky desert flat, a water crossing, a barrel pattern, and a downhill slope that just might make you think twice. Stay within the flags marking the boundaries and make sure to be the first to ring that bell if you want to advance because the slowest two cowboys will be eliminated. In the last round, the three finalists will face off in a horse race for immunity. The winner of that leg will win this outlaw spirit immunity buckle and be safe from elimination. Helping me judge today as usual, Buddy Schnaufer, Cash Myers. Also, we have the winner of Ultimate Cowboy Showdown season two, Katie Joe. Katie Jo was a true competitor who excelled in riding, roping, and showed her true heart. Without a doubt, she earned the title of Ultimate Cowboy. Hey, Chase, Katie. how are you? All right. So you won an immunity buckle in a horse race on your season. Yes, and, sir. And uh, it was pretty tough. Yes, sir. You got any advice for them? Yeah, actually, I do. Uh, guys, take care of your horses. Really pay attention to what you got and uh, pace yourselves. I mean, you've got a lot of country to cover. To be able to be successful, he's going to have to last till the very, very end, so save him for the home stretch. Good advice. Y'all ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OK. OK, this is J.P. Buck Jackson. Go. Who's that out in the lead? Is that Buck? I think that might be Jackson. Jackson got out front? Jackson took off in a hurry. Looks like Jackson's coming in the lead. JP's right behind him. Buck, they're all three neck and neck. Jackson's first to hit the water. Buck's going to be first out of the water. Around the barrel pattern here. JP went the other way. Ooh, JP and Jackson got hung up. Buck's gonna be the first out right here. Up the hill, Buck's gonna be in the lead. JP's now fell to the back, but everybody's close. It's gonna be tight, neck and neck right here. See how they get through. Buck's in the lead, but I kind of pass him on the left and I can just feel JP just on my back. If I make one mistake, JP's got it. It's the home stretch down a steep mountain to the finish line. JP is right on him. I think he's saving his horse for this home stretch right here, and he's going to really push. Jackson's got the lead. Jackson missed the flag. He has to go back. It's going to be JP or Buck. Here they come. That was close. Very. JP's going to be tough to beat, buddy. I'm really just disappointed in myself. I made a mistake at the end, and it cost me the immunity buckle. OK, Diamond, Sarah, Fatty, ready? I'm pretty excited. My horse is real fast. He's in shape. You know, my mom trained horses, endurance horses, actually, you know, 50, 100-mile rides. She was extremely competitive. She was number one in the southeast. She was fearless. She she worked really hard, and she would outwork all the men. And I just remember that as a young child and always thinking that was like such an accomplishment. Like, you don't see a lot of women that'll outwork these men. And that's what I plan to do. Ready? Go. This will be good, I think. Yeah. Diamond Jim's in the lead. Sarah's not far behind. Diamond Jim, he's going to hit this water going pretty fast. He's going to go around the edge right here. Sarah missed a stake right there. That pond takes a lot of that horse's energy to get through it. So what does Diamond do? He runs through the first set of markers, and then he runs on the outskirts of the pond and makes sure he catches the next set of markers. So technically, he's still good. What, you can't win the race doing it the correct way, so you have to find where you can cut edges? I just threw a shoe. My horse all of a sudden overreaches and catches himself. And when he pulls himself up, a shoe just flies out of the pond out of nowhere. And that let me know immediately. Bad as I was that immunity buckle, I had to look out for my horse first. Sarah's making up time after missing the marker. She's right on Diamond's heel. She's got to make sure she stays inside the marked boundary. You she went out of bounds. And she has to go back through the marker. I had him, and he knew it. And what does he do? Right when we get to the marker, he pushes me out of the markers. You got to beat me by cheating? Diamond's all alone coming down the mountain. 
He's moving. I'll be dang. He's got plenty of horse left. You cheat! You cheat, you snake! Uh-oh. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, you chicken! Nice race. Thank you, ma'am. She's the one slammed into me. I did not steer, turn, even bobble that mare. I just let her have her head. You know, just being around Diamond, he has the mentality that he's the guy, he's the authority. And it's, it's very hard to be around these guys that are just so close-minded to the idea of a female actually being in the same category as a hand, you know? And that's, it's something that you always battle. It never really goes away, but you know, my, I learned a lot from my mom. You have to set that precedence of like, hey, look, I'm not gonna take it kindly and I'm not gonna listen to you, especially if I feel like you're wrong. <sighs> okay, Tyler, Cody, and J-Storm, last heat, go. I'm not just thinking about winning the race, winning the immunity buckle. I'm thinking about my family. I'm thinking about my hometown. I want to make everybody proud. Great job right there by Tyler's horse, but he's going to get the inside lane. Can he hold Cody off right here? Cody's going to get the inside now. Jay Storm, she's cruising right along. Looks like she's kind of conserving her horse, see if she can catch up right here. Pretty close race so far. There they go. It's going to be a tight race between Cody and Tyler. Tyler's making his move. He's in front of Cody. They're really battling it out right here. Looks like Cody's catching up on the inside, fighting for position. Oh, Ooh. he looked like he pushed him. They're still shoving each other. Oh, they both missed the stakes. They got to fighting and rubbing and racing right there. They both missed the stakes right here. This might give Jason a chance to catch up. Now it's a rise to the finish right here. Oh, dang, they're fighting it out pretty hard. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, whoa. Now it's a rise to the finish right here. Oh dang, they're fighting it out pretty hard. Oh boy. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. Bring the bell, Storm! Had a girl. Had a girl. Holy cow. Jay Storm might have done the right thing and hung way, way back out of that mess. We were rubbing. It felt like I was in a fight with a grizzly bear and it felt like he had me in a chokehold the entire time. I fell on my right shoulder, and if you hit your shoulder hard enough, it like, it stuns you. My collarbone hurts. It hurts, but it's, it's part of it. Cody, I need to talk to you. Yes, sir. Can't drag man off your saddle. Yes, sir. Went too far. I was trying to take my bridle off. You tried to take your bridle off? Yes, sir. Well, I don't think we had enough video evidence to corroborate that, yes, sir. but nonetheless. I understand. Can't go that extra step and drag a man off his horse. Yes, sir. Well, where I'm from in Tennessee, like we grew up rough and tough. To me, that was just two buddies going at it, and I took it too far, but it wasn't like I was set out to like hurt him or nothing. All right, Tyler, what's your side of that fiasco? <laughs> Did you reach out and grab his bridle? No, when I passed him and he crashed into me, his horse's head was in between my bridle reins and me. This is how I had him. His horse's head was like that. So you didn't grab his reins? I didn't grab his reins. What did the medic tell you? He says my collarbone's broke, but I don't think it is. You gonna keep competing? Yeah, it's my left arm, it's not my right arm. All right. I have no means to stop or slow down. If they think this is gonna slow me down, they're wrong. I'll be just as capable as I am right now, and, and that's a fact. I'm sorry, buddy. Don't be sorry, dude. Well, I am. Dude, you're competing. I know, but that ain't no way to go out. I don't think any less of you, though, truthfully. Well, I wasn't mad, like, you know, like... I know you weren't mad. I mean, we were just competing, man. First time we bumped, your horse's neck went through my split reins. It See, pulled my split. I thought you were trying to wrap it around her head. Either way, I'd rather stepped off my horse right there if, I, if I'd have thought somebody was gonna get hurt. It's part of it, man. You know, if this had been five years ago when I stood up, I'd have punched Brewer right in the mouth. But I'm not the same person, and I think taking the high road is a win. Brewer played dirty, but I'm not going down that road. That's not me anymore.
All right, for the immunity buckle, we have J Storm, JP, and Diamond. They're gonna run head to head in this final heat for the immunity buckle. All the rest of the stuff that happened, I'll address it in the arena at some point. I watch everything you do. Just cause this is an immunity buckle challenge doesn't mean that you don't get held accountable for the way you conduct yourself. So don't think I'll forget about it. So y'all get ready to run this race. Having the immunity buckle right now would really, really help take me out of the spotlight quite a bit. I'm really trusting my horse on this one. I know he can do it. And uh, you know, I just really, really want to win this buckle for Jennings. I got my kids back home and I miss them with everything I have. I have my wife back home and I love and miss them too. It's hard being away, but I'm here for a purpose. I'm here to win this for a reason and I'm not gonna give anyone a chance. Come on, Storm, you got this. All right, for the immunity buckle, JP, Diamond, J Storm, go. go, 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 go. a little bit wide right there. JP's gonna cut him off, his first one through right, those heels right. here. Ooh, they both got through, they're close. Diamond Jim tried to cut him off right there. JP's getting the lead right here, it looks like. J Storm, she's behind. Right there, Diamond Jim's close, he's right on his tail. They gotta get down the creek, here we go. It's a close race right here, both them horses are tired after water. J Storm's not far behind. I'm afraid Diamond Jim's out of horse. I don't know if he can catch JP unless he's got a little horse left in the tank. J Storm moves ahead of Diamond. Here they come. I can't see, I can't see. Can't see. JP. JP's in the front. Oh, JP. Jump ball. Yes. Ain't nobody behind. Yes! What happened, Diamond? Did the pond wear you down like it wore down everybody else that actually did the course correctly? You just wait a little while and you get to see people's true colors and it tells you what's in their heart. And I think he's a dang coward for the way that he did that horse race against me. Ooh. Good job, guys. Good job. You hooked it up, Storm. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Jason. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Woohoo! Won the third immunity buckle. <laughs> I have three boys John Luke, Jace, Jasper. You each get your own buckle. This is for y'all. And everyone back home, I love y'all, and thank y'all. <laughs>
friend, no friend, what? No, no, no. That's where that being that shepherd comes back in. Being a shepherd of them animals and help them. You know, I grew up living by the cowboy code. You know, you do right by everybody and do right by yourself. Diamond Jim has managed some of the biggest ranches in Texas for over 20 years. A lot of these old ranches and these little camps these cowboys live on, they don't have no insurance. They don't have no backup plan. They ain't got nothing. Dalhart, Texas is home, a small town built at a railroad junction. Good morning, Diamond Jim. How are you today? Good man yourself. This lifelong Texan was literally born into the cowboy life. When I came in this world, they had to wipe the ranch off of me. Heck, I was born right there in the barn, and I ain't slowed down since. You get up on top of that barn, you can see the world. And just like his birth, this seasoned cowboy's life has been anything but easy. On a quiet, fateful night 43 years ago, a tragic phone call would change Jim's life forever. So when I was five years old, we went and stopped at my grandmother and my grandfather's house, and I wanted to stay at Grandma and Grandpa's. That moment changed everything in my life. When my parents left, driving through the night, they went across the icy bridge in Anadarko, Oklahoma, and uh, they never come home. That was it. Never forget the moment my grandma went into the. Never forget the moment my grandmother went walked into the kitchen, took the phone. When it rang, and I sat there and watched her, because I was watching TV right where I could see her. My grandmother looked at me and she dropped the phone. Then my granddad got up, had to go in there and pick the phone up. It was pretty much a blur after that. Who I miss y'all. From that day forward, it has, it has been a challenge. It's straight up tough. I mean, there ain't no two ways around it. You have to learn to fight and carve out what you wanted for yourself. That's the true essence of a cowboy right there. And after fighting for many years, Jim began to finally heal when his wife, Mindy, came into the picture. I don't, I don't know how to say it in words, what she means to me, but about the best thing ever happened. Now he's a grandpa. He's ready to win this competition for them. Being a grandpa is probably how and why I have a gentle side to me now. Uh, you can blame that on Mindy. Now, that's all her fault, putting me in that spot. It's pretty cool. If I'd have known grandkids were this much fun, I'd have had them first. <laughs> you won, CC, you won! All right, Cowboys, good morning. Good morning. All right, today we're going to test your ability to cut cattle on unknown horses. Assuming you're good enough to drive those horses through the desert patrolled by bandits. Now, you're going to ride out to Yucca Flats, and there you'll find an air-equipped corral with 30 horses in it. Now, these are Dunn Roman Ranch draft cross horses. Your team needs to gather them up, drive them through a narrow canyon, and through a mile of desert back to these pens. Now on the drive, you'll be ambushed by three bandits. They want to take your horses. Three bandits are dressed in all black, and they're wearing armbands. To defeat the bandits, you'll have to remove their armbands. The challenge is over after you've collected three bandit armbands and finished driving the horses to the pen at the bottom of the hill. Team that's the fastest, be safe from elimination. Man, I'm wound up. Trace don't lay down a scene right out of Lonesome Dove. Here we go. Helping me again today, Buddy Snoffer, Cash Myers, and back returning 
Ultimate Cowboy Champion, Katie Joe. We flipped the coin. Green Team, you're up first. We'll let y'all get ready. So I'll take the point. Got him back. I think you need to ride and get those horses going. Yeah. Because then we've got to make that corner right into That's that That's bad. Tank. That, that whole corner is like, you can't yeah. get around them or do anything. No. So it's either they make the corner or they go downhill. All right, you guys ready? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right, let's start it right now. Go. Yeah! Buck's pulling the gate open right here. Getting them started right here is very important. They get this started smoothly right here. Easy, easy. Easy. Roll, Cody. Cody's gonna roll right here. If they can get him pinched back, right to Cody. Buck telling Cody to roll on right there. Looks like they're gonna lock on, but they gotta get him slowed down right here to get through this little canyon. Get it on him, Cody! Cody's lost control of the horses coming out of that canyon. And these horses just blow up. You couldn't have set a bomb off and made them scatter any worse. Ah! Easy, mama. Ah! Ah! Somebody's got them contained right here. Now, if Cody can get back ahead of them, we'll see. Buck's got a horse going. Buck's in a bind right here. He's got to get this horse turned back towards the pen. So I see one horse and he is not going with the other horses and now's the time for Buck Faust to really step up as a leader and put out this fire through my leadership. Costing Buck some time, they're going to be a man down, but Buck's got the horse going back and getting blocked into the herd. Way behind, Bucky. Come on, bud. Come on, Bucky. This is so stressful. It's a horse race. I'm running my horse as fast as he'll go. We're running through cactuses and bushes. We're just trying to get these horses slowed down. Where's Buck at? I don't know. How do you want to get ahead and get the gate? I think we got this. It's going to cost them a lot right here with Buck going back to catch that other horse. Now they're a man down. They got bandits up here to deal with. They got a lot going on right here. Cody, just cut to the right. So we finally get these horses to the gate, get through the gate, and here comes the three bandits. Sarah gets the first. Oh. Cody's got the second. Three flies! Three flies! And Sarah's got the third. You know, heck, I got two of the bandanas off the bandits for crying out loud. I mean, where was everybody else? And here comes Butt, just leading this old little dun horse behind him. I'm like, dang, where you been? You're taking me. I'm good. For the final step, the green team just needs to get those 30 horses in the pen. Green, y'all got it done. Well, I'll see you in the arena at sundown. Somebody from the losing team gonna go home. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We got a man down. Medic, need a medic now. Now. It's bad. I don't know what happened, but it's bad. It's time for our gold team all stars to show us what they're made of. What do you guys think about having somebody pass that natural barricade, go up ahead and turn the herd, because we're going to need control of them to go through that pond. And sit, sit right there? Yeah. And push them? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. You know, yesterday I got ripped off my horse uh, and kind of crashed into the ground pretty hard. <laughs> but uh, I don't think it's going to slow me down at all. If anybody on my team thinks that I'm going to let them down, they're wrong. Uh, it's not going to slow us down at all. Diamond, do you want to lead the herd? Absolutely. All right, guys, you got your team game plan set? Yes, sir. All right, y'all go get them. Yeah, yeah! All right, here we go. I got a good game plan together. Getting them started is the hard part right here. Stay with him, Tyler. Time the gym's going to lead out, but they're still waiting for horses here stringing out. If they get them strung out together, it's going to be the trick part. 
The herd just blew past Diamond. The rest of the herd missed the turn. Diamond and Jim did not get them turned up there. They missed the hole to go through the canyon and missed the hole. So now they passed the first checkpoint and are getting away from them right here. Fatty, that's his spot right there to help turn them, and he never got to his spot. I don't know if he got started in the wrong direction or he didn't see them coming. Let's see if they can get them held up right here. It'll be interesting to see if they can get them held up, get them together, and survive this, this challenge right here. Hey, you're gonna have to go, bud, or get out of my way and I will. Hey, kids. Jackson's taking control and getting to the front of the herd. I'm in the very, very back, and I have to go all the way to the front to get these horses turned. Somebody's got to, and I took initiative, and I got it done. Period, the end. And then once we got a hold of them, then Diamond let them in. There's our gate. I'm gonna need some help right here, boys. Now that the gold team's brought the horses through the checkpoint, the bandits will have to be dealt with. There, they got them pushed through. Hey. Hey, kids. Here come the bandits. Yeah. I grew up wanting to be a cowboy. My heroes have always been cowboys. And uh, raiding off bandits is just like part of being a cowboy with your cat pistols as a little kid. So I'm excited for today. We got bandits! We got bandits! Diamond's got the first flag. Tyler's going after the second bandit. We got a man down! Hey! Medic! Need a medic! Hey, right, send somebody in! No! No! It's bad. I don't know what happened, but it's bad. Medic coming in. Just keep breathing. We've stopped time for the gold team. Tyler is down. I got breath. I got good breath here, Doc. Keep breathing. Keep blinking. I look up, and that horse, that bandit and that horse, careening out of control, smashes into Tyler. Last time I checked, you knock into somebody, it's not their fault. Tyler finally gained consciousness. We got control of the situation. Holy TV cow. Right? Yes. I'm holding you here. Diamond's on your okay. hip, okay? You ready? We're going to lift yeah, you up. Yeah, I'm ready. OK, let's sit you up. Oh, is my horse OK? Yeah, your horse is fine. But thank the Lord that he, 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 he was able to sit up on his own. Oh, and he God, got to talking. He finally kind of come back to us. Did I let you guys down? No, 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 no. Hey. Oh, you let anybody down. I broke my face from here to here whenever I got knocked out. You know, we're all tough. We all we all keep going and make it through, but um, it's just, it brings back, you know, a lot of memories for some people around here. I don't want to get sent home over this. I step off, I look at Tyler, I say, you good? And he goes, good. I went to the snatching flags. At no fault of his own, Tyler was accidentally crashed into by a bandit's horse. Being taken to the hospital as a precaution, his horse is fine and the gold team will continue the challenge without him. Yeah, I want to finish. Because that's what he'd want too, and I know that. I heard him. He, he wanted to finish the challenge. He wanted to finish the challenge. And when, by, by the young man saying that to and me hearing that, all right, Jackson, step up and show him that I got his back. We've got his back. After all that this team has been through today, to keep pushing takes real grit and determination. Come on, kiddos. That's a good bunch of kids right there. Good kiddos. Now they can get them in the pen. They got them. That was time. They got them. That's okay. time. All right, Gold, you got it done. I uh, just want to let you know, Tyler, he said the hospital, we think he's all right. He says he's all right. We'll get the official word here in a few minutes, but let's be thinking about him. Yes, sir. Good job. I'll see you in the arena after a while. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Good job, team. This was the closest that we've had time-wise so far on this whole deal. One minute. Sun's setting here at the Flying E Ranch, and we're worried about the uh, elimination coming up. You know, the big walk down is going to be very heavy on Team Gold tonight because we're going to have one less team member there with us. And you know what? I'm downright nervous. I feel like today I really stuck my neck out as a leader, led by example, and also put out a fire caused from a mistake. Being a leader, that can either help you or hurt you when it comes to tracing the judges.
I mean, of course I'm nervous because, you know, you always think that way the things go are good and then you get in front of them and they tear you apart like a bunch of jag terriers. So, I mean, I just don't know. You never really know until you get down there and you hear what he's got to say. Good evening. Good evening. Well, as we all know, there was a little bit of an accident today. Tyler got hurt. Uh, he's at the hospital getting checked out. Um, so a few prayers probably wouldn't hurt. OK. So we'll start uh, at the obvious place. JP's got the immunity buckle, so we all know he's safe. Go sit on the fence. All right, well, let's see here. As far as today, it was tight. This was the closest that we've had time-wise so far on this whole deal. Gold team. You were a man down when Tyler was sent to the hospital, but you still finished with a time of 37 minutes. Green team, you had a cowboy advantage and you came in at 38 minutes. You lost by one minute. Fire. One minute. One minute. Fire. Gold team, y'all can set on the fence. You're safe from elimination. Dang it. <laughs> Good job, team. All right, Green, let's go. There's three of you here, one of you's going home. Buck. Did you step out in a leadership role today? Yes, sir. From the get-go? No, sir. Why? Because I went to thinking hard about what you said there tonight, and you're exactly right. I need to step out as a leader. I've thought about that for almost two days now. What type of leader am I? I'm the leader that puts out fires. I'm the guy that sees a situation, sees it going south. I'm the guy that fixes it today. That's how it worked out. I hear what you're saying, and I appreciate that, man. That's I, I get that. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes there's got to be a guy riding around fixing everybody else's screw-ups. Whose fires you put out? Well, who, who, who'd you have to take up slack for? Well, those three horses that I had to bump back down in that buckskin stayed. Last person I rode around there was Sarah. The buckskin was in front of me when I went through the thing. And then when we got over the top of the hill, I actually cut you off to make it over because I felt like you was taking a tick too long, so I wanted to get around him because Cody was losing in the front. So you kind of feel like, you know, Sarah may not be reliable? I think Sarah is as reliable. Well, no. No, she's not. No, because Sarah exactly right there. I cut you off because I had to go fill your spot. She cut me off several times. Like, I don't know why she feels like she needs to ride my hole. Don't you ever worry about my hole. Hmm. Sir, I don't get the sense that you're unreliable. How do you feel about it? No, I mean, we were in a horse race and I stood up. I felt like we needed an extra man. I rode where I needed to be. Nobody has ever been like, hey, Sarah, get there, get there. Like this whole time since we've been here, nobody has ever had to say, hey, where are you at? No, no, sir, no, sir. Where were you at this whole thing? We were three men trying to stop these horses. Ooh, all right, now I'm getting fired up. No, no, sir, no, sir. Where were you at this whole thing? We were three men trying to stop these horses. Ooh, all right, now I'm getting fired up. No, I'm there where I need to be. I have a panoramic view of what's going on, and I fill in this gap when it needs to be. I get you're trying to catch the horse, but gum, we didn't even know where you went. Go and take care of business. It's the reason we showed up with 30 head of horses, not 29. Man, well, I didn't even realize we had beef until right now. This is interesting. Oh, OK. Cody, did you give it everything you had today? Yes, sir. I gave everything I had, and then uh, I dropped the ball. <laughs> Get around him, Cody! Cody's lost control of the horses coming out of that canyon. Ah! So I let my team down there, and that's the reason we lost, I feel like. You know, Cody, I, I'll say, man, in your defense, you always own up. If you made a mistake or you, you need to make things right with somebody, you do it immediately, just like you did with JP the other day. You know, and I, I appreciate that about you, man. You own up to your mistakes and you, you make apologies where you need to. 
I like that. Buck, you don't do that too much. Don't own up to my mistakes? Yeah. I don't think How Buck thinks I? he makes any mistakes. That's what I'm saying. But if somebody else points one out and they think you might have made a mistake, even though you didn't think you made a mistake, it's, it's not always going to take a chunk out of your character to maybe apologize to somebody and say, you know what, my bad. You know, if you think I did something wrong there, you know, sorry about that. I'd say this. Sarah was on her spot. I felt like Buck did a great job. He knew that one horse wasn't going to go, and he took it on himself to go back. But I, I didn't feel like that was a place right there to throw Sarah under the bus. But this deal right. come down to a minute. So a minute comes down to, like Cody said, I come out of the canyon, out of position, or it could also come down to Buck. I missed. I had to go chase my horse. I was longer getting back. Katie Jo, um, thank you for coming back and being with us. Absolutely. So you've been here a couple of days, but from what you've seen, and what you saw today, who on this crew would you let go? Uh, I think everybody has done a pretty decent job, but I, I agree with Cash on saying that Cody could have been a few, a few steps ahead of himself. You know, he needed to hurry a little bit more. If I had to say anybody, it would be Cody for me. Okay. The, the bottom line is, from my viewpoint, at the end of that race for that immunity buckle, you crossed the line, man, when you drug Tyler off that horse, dude. So after that, and then what I saw here today, you're done here. Yes, sir. Pack your personals. Pleasure. See ya. You know, of course, I'm upset. You know, nobody wants to go home early, but um, I let the team down right there at the end of the day, and I don't have any regrets about what happened between me and Tyler. And, you know, Key Jack and I, we go back. And we're friends, but. I really do hope Key Jack's all right, and I hope he gets better. And uh, heck, I'd like to see him, you know, be competitive in this deal. You know, I came out here to prove that, you know, I'm one of the best cowboys in the business, and you know, I can guarantee you won't find anybody grittier or tougher than me. And one of these days, you know, I'm going to have my own ranch and uh, have it set up just how I want it. Might take me a little bit longer, but you know, at least I had the opportunity, and I tried to take the best of it. All right, guys, you know, usually when the teams get this lopsided, uh, I'll, I'll reshuffle, but uh, we don't know what's, you know, what, what tomorrow's going to look like when Tyler gets back. So we're not going to do anything right now. But today was uh, challenging, I know, and uh, we just, we got to be careful. I mean, try not to get anybody else hurt before we finish this thing. I just don't want to see any more of it. Okay. Try to get some sleep, get some rest. And I'll see you tomorrow. We'll do an immunity bucket challenge. Yes, sir. Sure. Thank you.